What's going on people? We are back again with another moving mad video. And this one really is moving mad because Mary is nothing but moving manipulation. Maybe even moving abusive. Yes, very strong word. But let's talk about it. Let's break it down. This is what's been happening right now on the 90 day streets on Reddit. At this moment in time, people are absolutely irate with the fact that Mary always has to have somewhat of a panic attack each time Brandon comes to her for help or each time Brandon comes to her and tries to defend himself. All of a sudden, she, her breathing goes a bit funky. All of a sudden, she now needs her inhaler. All of a sudden, the tears are coming down like a waterfall. All of a sudden, we're thinking, whoa, hold on a minute. You cannot tell us that Brandon asking you this simple question has now put you in overdrive. You cannot tell us just because Brandon is standing his ground, this has now put you in overdrive. I mean, listen, don't get me wrong. A lot of people in this world do have panic attacks a lot and they do suffer them for whatever reason. So I'm not necessarily someone that's medically clear to be commenting per se, but this is what's happening right now. Because to be honest with you, someone came out with a very interesting comment. They said this is actually the strangest reaction from her so far. Like jealousy and crying over that, I get it. We've all seen manip manipulative, abusive people on the show, but she started to have a panic attack at the barest mention of asking her grandparents for help. What's going on here? It can't just because she feels guilty. And someone did put in and said, maybe her grandfather is abusive. I mean, listen, that one for me personally, not really gonna touch that a bit too much. But you never know, maybe that's why she gets a bit sensitive. But for me personally, I don't think that could necessarily be the case. I just think that she's someone that over the years has been able to get away with murder because at the end of the day, since she cries and then shows signs of having panic attacks, people probably give her everything that she wants. That's what I would imagine it stems from. But again, though, that question, you never know. But here's the thing, though. I'm here to talk about something even more, in my opinion, more serious. And that is the fact that Mary is now pregnant. You gotta understand something right now. Mary is someone that has weaponized her trauma. She has weaponized it to therefore use it, use it to advantage whenever it comes to Brandon asking for anything. And if anything, she probably has weaponized it to use it in her life in general, to get away with whatever the hell she she's been getting away with all this time. So here's the thing. The fact that she's now pregnant and they're bringing a baby into this world. Well, Brand doesn't realize that his life is about to get a whole lot worse, a whole lot harder. If she's already refusing and already having panic attacks, just because you're asking her to borrow some money from her grandparents, <laughs> just imagine what's gonna happen when you're asking her for a favor, but she's like, yeah, but I got the baby though. You ask her, for, yeah, but I'm pregnant though. Boy, 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 boy. I can't not imagine how manipulative she's going to be, but you've got to understand something right now. There are many people in this world who will use their child to manipulate others. And that is one disgusting tool that people have in this world and they actually abuse it and actually weaponize it. A child should never be used as, a, as some form of bargaining chip. A child should never be used to manipulate other people. Point blank period. A child is here so you can raise your child to be the best person it can grow up to be. That's it. We set the standards. We set the foundation of where we want our children to go and we help them along the way. But one thing that we don't do is weaponize them against one another. And let's be real. Some children, when they pick up that mom and dad are not on the same pages, what do some children do? Some children will, all, will even play off mom and dad against each other. And why? because they will see that mom and dad is not on the same page, so they will take advantage. But these are kids, right? When it comes to adults, mm, 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 mm. So the fact that Mary has got a child coming, it's not cool, it's not good. It is extremely worrying. And let's keep it 100. We have seen unstable couples have children before. I mean, let's just talk about the one specific one, Karini and Paul, those two, have been absolutely shambolic, so shambolic, they even lost custody of their own freaking kids. Why? Because their behavior is absolutely ugly and despicable. But here's the thing though, ladies and gentlemen, here is the thing. Temper tantrums aside, 
Throughout this season, she has on numerous occasions shown a distinctive lack of empathy. It's starting to get disturbing and it's starting to get indi um, indicative on a serious personality problem. It's, it's really scary to think that she's pregnant. How on earth is she going to be able to be an adequate mother when she's lacking in basic levels of human empathy? remains to be seen and that goes back to exactly what i was saying right then that was just a, a comment that was left there on reddit so the question is this how do you all feel how do you all feel about the fact that mary is now pregnant and the fact that mary is someone that uses her panic attacks has a weaponized tool just to just to get people to feel sorry for her just so she can get her own way I mean, look at it this way, to be honest with you, I may not be from the States and I may not be from Thailand, but I thought that she was absolutely ridiculous, to be honest with you, the more I think about it, to slam Brandon down when it came to the differences of living in America compared to living in Thailand, when it came to the differences of opportunities. At the end of the day, Brandon has had, high, has had a hard life himself. And just because he's from America, it doesn't mean that his hard life doesn't count. That is absolutely selfish and pathetic. The fact that she wanted to sideline Brandon's own life, what he's been through, just because she's from Thailand and Thailand's a far worse location, according to her, that doesn't mean that his feelings and what he's been through doesn't matter. Are you mad? What he's been through matters. We've already heard Brandon talk about it before anyway. He said that he got to a point in his life where he was ready just to, to just be done with life completely be done with life and it wasn't until mary came along in his life he decided to believe that his life meant something but mary at this moment in time has not made that <laughs> that reasoning come a light but either way though the fact that this is knowledge now you think that mary would be more em empathetic towards brandon but instead of being more empathetic towards brandon she would continue to cry continue to have hissy fits and continue to ignore anything that he says and the crazy thing is everything that he says he says it in such a calm composed manner never rude about it always respectful and even when she's about to have one of her episodes of panic attacks that you know are clearly put on if you ask me he always tries a way to simmer it down you can tell that he's been working on mechanisms so therefore she doesn't go too far but the fact that she's ignoring him means that she knows that she can control what she's doing but hey the question still remains the question still remains based on everything that i've said in this video let me know what you're thinking. Do you feel like, once again, Mary and Brandon having a, having a maybe is a good idea? Do you think that it is fair that Mary will sideline Brandon's past, his feelings, just because she's from Thailand and allegedly is just far worse for her? Hmm. Hmm. Let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, peace.